If you guys want a cheap and reliable marketplace to go buy your games on PC, Xbox or PS then go check out GTA.com, the link will be in the description so yeah go over there and check them out now. Yo, what is up guys, Swift here today bringing you a FIFA 17 trading method. Um, in this method we're going to be trading with informs, like the cheap ones, and we're going to be using the nationalities to single these ones out. So if you guys could smash that like button, that would be absolutely incredible. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more daily FIFA 17 content. Um, and also if you're liking my series, then please give this video a thumbs up because it lets me know. Um, it will basically all round if I'm doing okay. So what you want to do is go into special You just want to leave it on Argentina for a minute the first one and you're gonna work your way down through the top 10 Basically what you want to do is find the cheapest on the market for that nationality So as you can see here these two go for 9-4. I've got a funny feeling that they aren't actually going to work um, because purely because I have past experience with this player so what you can then do is you can either put the price up to see if there's any more players or you can head over to the Brazil for the next one basically. So as you can see here this guy as well there's two on the market for around the same price. It, mm, yeah it's not it's not really the best but they're both going for 10k and the next one on the market is, seems to be going for 3k, 13k, 3k fucking hell that'd be cheap. The next two on the market seem to be going for 13k. So if you had the money, you could pick both of these up and sell them for 12,500 and make two like 2k on both players. So yeah, um, not 2k each, of course, but you could make 2k on the two players. So that is actually quite good profit. Um, I would be chuffed to make 2k because that's basically a game with a boost on. If it's not, then yeah. So as you can see, we move on to England here and there is a guy going and he looks like he's been pretty much price fixed so we're not even going to attempt to look at this guy move on to france and obviously the more popular the league the better the, the higher the price so this guy is actually going for 11750 and it looks like the next one on the market is actually going for 13k excuse me and look there he goes just been sold um, so if I was quicker, I could have picked him up and sold him on for 13k. Um, unfortunately, I missed out because, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this guy, 9-1, um, and his next on the market is 9-4. So unfortunately, after tax, you won't actually make any profit on that guy. So let's just move on. I don't know if Netherlands have even had an inform. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, Evan, goalkeeper. So here, as you can see, he's going for 15,500. Um, what you can actually do at the end of the player is actually try and snipe the player. This is what you can do on all of them. Um, and hopefully one would pop up. Um, I actually feel quite embarrassed that I'm an Everton supporter and I didn't even know we had an inform goalkeeper. Um, so let's just let that one pass because yeah, I feel like a bit of a knob. But Ayo, it happens. Um, so yeah, that's basically the method. You just want to go on to special, work your way through all the nationalities, find the cheapest on the market. As you see, over in France, we actually missed out on a deal. Um, so yeah, that actually happens quite a bit. So you got to know your players and you got to do your research. But if you have, and then you're going to be making quite a bit of money. Obviously, you need at least 10 to 15k to do this method. And then if you do, then it's all yours. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash the like button and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more daily FIFA 17 content. I'm out. Peace.